Do you feel intimidated when receiving a hard smash on the side of your court? Today, I'm going to teach you how to defend yourself against the smash so you can confidently keep your game going. Hi, I'm Coach Kenya Sunshon and welcome to Badminton ABCs where I teach you how to level up your game and all things badminton. So do hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. The smash is a powerful shot which can intimidate or scare you, especially if you know that your opponent has a strong and steady smash. Sometimes the shuttle hasn't even arrived on your side of the court and yet you feel like you've already lost the point. But if you develop the proper defense, you can keep your cool, return the shot, and even go on an offensive quickly. Hi, in this episode, I'm going to teach you how to defend yourself from a smash. Okay, so in our previous uh, videos, I've already taught you the footwork for defense. This time, what I'm going to focus on is how you actually hit the shuttle. So again, in your basic position, you squat a bit. It's very important, especially when you're waiting for a smash to go squat a bit. If you're too straight, it's hard to push off and go out to get the smash. So you have to squat a bit, use the footwork. Upon hitting, don't swing too big. If you swing too big from the back, by the time you get to the shuttle, it's probably on the floor already. So you have to hit from here, swinging forward. Whether it's to put it in front or to the back, but you take it with only a slight movement to the back going forward. Now you will also notice that with the advanced players or the very competitive ones, they actually get their defense slightly in front. That's because of their anticipation and fast movement. So for regular, you know, players who just play for fun, you can take it from here. Of course, I'd encourage you to take it slightly in front if you can because that would be a good habit. But from here to here, that's fine. You can take it from here, you can take it, take it slightly in front. So if you are doing the defense, the, sh the smash comes to you, then there's no need to go and do those footwork and steps going out. As you see the shuttle, go for it. If the shuttle is close to you on the left-hand side, it's the same. Just put out your racket and do the defense, okay? But if you have to go out, you, you then have to use the footwork from our pre previous videos. So again, swing. From here, follow through, especially if you're lifting the shot or pushing it to the back. But if you're pu putting it in front, then it's only a slight movement with a forward action. So it really depends on what kind of shot you want to return to your opponent. But the basic way is to try your best to take it in front or here on the side. Here is Ali Rojas showing us how to do the defense. This is particularly defense for singles. So you will notice, as I've mentioned earlier, that you have to be in a squatting position. So it's easier to push off and move out to take the shot. You will also notice that Ali's racket is not fully down to the floor. It is slightly around her thigh area, ready to take the defense. There are many types of returns for the defense. You can lift it, you can put it in front, or you can even drive it back. Of course, it would be best to be able to anticipate the shots that are coming. But, of course, with anticipation, you can be right, you can be wrong. What's important is your quick start or your quick movement as soon as you see the shuttle coming. Now, footwork is very important when the shuttle is away from you, like way to the sides. 
because as much as possible, you want to be able to get the shot and return back to the middle or your base of the court. So Ali here is doing a defense drill. Her teammates are smashing the shots or dropping it. Her goal is to either put it in front or lift the shuttle. Now you will notice that doing the defense, it depends on what kind of shot you plan to return that's also how controlled your wrist would be. If you want to return it to a semi-drive, then you can flick your wrist a bit with a little bit of that push, low push to the back. But if you want to put the defense in front, then your wrist movement is very controlled. I will emphasize on having to be in a squatting position. And that's for any time you lift the shuttle. Why? If once you lift the shuttle, you are expecting a drop, a smash, or a clear. Now, if it is a drop, if it's a smash given to you by your opponent, it will be a fast one. So it's better that you are prepared for it. Now, if in case they lift it, even from a squatting position, you have the time to go up and move back. So it's better to stay low and guard the faster shot. Normally for singles, when you lift to one side, that's where you anticipate the smash. Why? Because straight smashes will always be faster and stronger as opposed to a cross. Why? Because of the travel time. I believe that no matter how strong the smash of your opponent is, if you are ready to defend it, you will be able to do so. If coupled with great anticipation, even better. Now again, your positioning in the middle is a basic position, but it depends on the types of opponent that you have. If your opponent loves to do a cross smash, then you automatically position yourself to wait slightly to the cross, cross area from your lift. Now if your opponent loves to do a straight smash, then needless to say, you wait for it straight. As I've mentioned earlier, do not swing from the back. A big swing from the back will only make you late in getting the defense. The control for defense is very important. So you can return the shot you want to. There are many different ways to practice defense for singles. It can be through players um, helping you out, smashing for you, or you can also do some multi-shuttle type of defense wherein the feeder or your coach can actually um, pretend that they're attacking and smashing it on both sides. You can also have some skill drills that will also be able to touch on the defense. Okay, So there are many ways to practice it and we will get to those different kinds of practices in our future videos, so watch out for it. Good footwork, readiness of the arm, anticipation, these are all tools in getting a better defense. Let me know your problems with defense on the comment section below. Now that you've learned how to do the defense against the smash, don't forget to check out my videos on how to perform the smash which you can click on your screen.
Remember to subscribe, level up your game, and be the next smashing success.